Yeah. Wow, how you doing, brother? Here we go. Yes, sir. Yeah, you doing? Nah, nah, now. I know the work. Yeah. I always try to keep up, man. <laughs> I like what you're doing over there. Thank you, man. Well, I've been a fan, man. I mean, really since the days of The Wire, but I want to say, I even remember earlier, I want to say I saw you, probably before I, I was even really watching The Wire. You mm -hmm. pop up in different music videos that I like. Yes, yes. Like, um, I want to say Freeway, um, All We Do. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember all your kind of video placements? Yeah, most of them. It's one or two. I might, the vision is blurry a mm -hmm. little bit, a bit on it because how far back it was. But yeah, those were some of the best experiences. What? Who was someone that was like cool to the point you remember? You remember the experience? Well, I'm gonna probably have to say, as far as music video concern, it was probably when I did uh, Fallen with Maya. See, because oh. now we're both Libras. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm on. I'm October third. She's the ten. Yeah. So you already know that dynamic. Yeah, and yeah. And then you know we were up in Toronto, uh, Canada for four days filming. That's back when music videos had, had real budget. budgets. Yeah, yeah. You know we could fly out for a week and you know do a video and it'd be great. I was. So, I actually think you did a video with Jada Kiss as well, right? Yes, sir. Now wait. The first. Now I just did a video. It was like a mini movie. Okay. Right. Directed by Kid Art, and um, mm. it was with starring myself and Peter Green and Jada. Okay. And that was for his song called Me. That's the latest project. Yeah, yeah. But we did one a throwback with Nate Dogg called Times Up. Yeah, that's that, a good song. That, yeah, 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 yeah. That was, and that was my first time in New Orleans, and we did it at the cemetery because I didn't know that they, you know, bury people above ground. Yes, yeah, because they below the sea level. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. That was an experience as well. And I feel like. Film and TV is some of the best it's ever been. I think a lot of that is attributed to shows like The Wire. Well, yes, that The Wire did, you know, kind of like provide a blueprint to to do raw, authentic, you know, uh, television because yeah. it's not film; it's television. We got to remember watching TV, and I just trip over how far back The Wire was. It wasn't in HD. No, it no, wasn't in HD. No, so when no, you watch yeah. it, you're it's, getting. It's, yeah. The full fledged effect, you understand? Like, yeah, you know, now it's not beautified, it's not none of that stuff. Yeah, so that's what I think people are still hanging on to. But through technology, we're losing it. So, no matter how much they try to keep it authentic, you oh, know what I mean? The grit and feel, the yeah. filters and everything, you know what I mean? Kind of yeah. messes it up for the outcome. I feel like when I watch that show, for me, I grew up in um, I grew up in Jersey, so Baltimore's different, but it felt like it captured that time, that place, no, the absolutely, dress code, yes. the slang, but also those characters. I'd never seen, I, I don't want to say I'd never seen because I was like, you know, teens going into the 20s, but. I'd never seen people that kind of were like people that I knew, some right. people that I knew no, true. on TV. And I think it set the standard really, really early. And I think all the stars that were born out of that, right? Like Yes, I mean, come on, who you want to start with? Michael K, Michael B, Mac Wiles. Yeah, yeah, Mac, you know, who you want to start with? I mean, all the way down, I mean, you know what, the Lance Riddicks. Uh, I, I, why am I, I can't even think blank? of his name. Wendell um, Pierce. Wendell Pierce, yeah. I didn't yeah. remember that, I was about to jump off the bridge I can't, think who, played, uh, <laughs> I can't think who played McNulty. Um, oh, Dominic West. Yeah, I mean, Dominic, like, well, yeah, no, great, great talent, and I mean, we didn't know what we were doing. I don't care. Don't let anyone tell. We did not was, know what we were getting ourselves. You into. must talk about this a lot because I, that, my next question is: Did you understand what was happening no, in real time? No, I'm. A, I'm. A, I not think I'm gonna speak for the most of most of us, mm -hmm. and we we didn't. You know, it was like this because we were on the west side of Baltimore filming McCullough Homes, you know, Dolphin Street Sharp, yeah. Pennsylvania. This is raw, unadulterated Baltimore at yeah. a time where that wasn't far removed with the content. From, yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah, far removed, yeah. you know what I mean? So, you know, it was like the one eye open, the third eye open <laughs> for everybody, really, because it yeah. was foreign land for some people. Mm -hmm. I've been to Baltimore maybe two or three times ever before that. Cause we're going back to what, 01? But you might pass through, you might yeah. not stick around. You ain't yeah. sticking yeah. around, yeah. you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what was, I think, take, that most of us got taken aback by. And so it was just like, you know, on set, when we getting out of it, <laughs> what's, you, what's your call time tomorrow? Yeah, you know, yeah. you get up early, late, let's go have a drink, let's go down to the Fells Point, to the power plant. Oh, yeah, so you guys so, were really hanging out. Yeah, yeah, go knock one back, you know, stuff like that. So we, we, did, we, was, we didn't have a clue. Hmm. And then it just it metamorphosized into this thing. I mean, because nobody was coming with egos. I, I gotta say that much. It wasn't. It wasn't. And I think it was well, because of the unknown. It was a lot of new talent too. Right. You know. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. like you. You had some veteran actors on there, but it was a lot of new talent. Fairly and, new. And people just taking television to a point where I think it's never. It hadn't been. I think it's changed since then. I think Breaking Bad comes in that vein, right? I think. Well, like, that's my favorite. 
well, I can't even include the wire because that would just be biased. So Breaking Bad, and I got on that late. Yeah. And that said it for me. It was like the other end of the spectrum. It was the wire, but on the other end of the mm-hmm. spectrum. Yeah. So really, so you like so then what's your top? What's your top five? I'm gonna just give. I'm gonna take the wire and give that in one of the spots. You can do four. All right. So Breaking Bad, mm-hmm. Sons. Okay. One that's on now that's new, Claws. Yeah, yeah, Kinda, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm impressed by that. They there was a show where if you were to read it, you wouldn't think it would work. But right, it does. It, it does. And that's sure, impressive. It, it definitely yeah. does. The talent, like they all come, Jack, you know, mm-hmm. Nisi, yeah. you know, even, even Carucci. Carucci. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Act, yeah. So yeah, that's that's one, and then one more. I'm gonna give Dexter. Really? Yeah, that was different for me. I never got down with Dexter like because that. because the monotony of it, but uh-huh. it never, it never lost me. It was so monotonous. But it built, it built, it built up. If that made sense, if that makes sense, a slow build. It, it was, and I appreciated that. I want to switch it up. Let's talk sports real quick. I know you, I see you at New York Knicks games all the time. Mm-hmm. You're a big NY fan, mm-hmm. but um, we want to talk about Celebrity Row, mm-hmm. the do's and don'ts of sitting courtside at okay. a Knicks game or at any game, right? Okay. You got your Spike Lee's, you know, notorious for that kind of behavior. But what's a do and what's a don't when you sit in courtside? A do and a don't. Mm-hmm. I know a, a, a do. Is to always stay engaged in the game. You just don't want to be the guy. Cause I watch games and people, I can tell they don't know what's going on. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So stay engaged. That, and just sit in court. Side, that's the one time right? the camera catches you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. And and uh and and then a don't is uh, you know, don't get like sleepy or uh. Like mm. a days ago, and the, and the ball come on a, oh. out of bounds, and then you'd be whoops upside the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a Russell Westbrook always, diving to the crowd. It's always the people in their phones or who's sleepy and tired. That's when the accidents happen. The ball don't lie. Somehow <laughs> it, it finds them. It, it does not lie. <laughs> do, do you have Do you have a top five in Mount Rushmore of Knicks players? Well, because all right, yeah, all right. I'm a, see, I'm I'm that '94 Knicks. Playoffs, dude. When okay. I was, you know, with against Mike and them. Yeah. So it's so it's off top. It's John Starks, mm-hmm. Ewing, Bernard. That was how I got introduced to the Bernard King. That was my brother's. Like, forget about it. Don't say nothing bad about it. <laughs> you know, rest in peace to my bro, L L J. Okay. I just loved his. Pizzazz all around. Yeah, I don't care did, really where he was at. So when he got here for me, yeah. I was just like, "That's yeah, I'm into it." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. no way I'm not into it. And then uh, just because I'm a born in Coney Island, raised in Staten Island guy, Steph. But what's mm-hmm. coming up? What's 2020 look like for you? Uh, so tw- 2020 is looking great right now. We got a uh, for life mm-hmm. brought to you by executive producer Curtis Fifty Cent Jackson, Hank Steinberg on ABC. Yeah, and that's starring myself, Nicholas Pennock. Uh, Dorian Misik, Sean Ringo, Joey Bryant. Yeah. So that's a great one. And it's about this guy, Aaron Wallace, who's wrongfully convicted. He wasn't a saint, but what they said he did, he didn't. And he took seven years and got his foot back and got his, uh, passed his bar and became a, an attorney. This is and, a real uh, story? It's a true story. Wow. And he got himself out of a 70 years to life sentence, I believe. He got himself out of he, it. He gave back the state 70 years to life. So you guys might want to tune into that. It's very interesting. Yeah. yeah very insightful. You know, especially in the climate of the injustices and stuff like I that. I mean, the forever climate. I feel like it's always something that we <laughs> need to go. check out. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's infinite. So, yeah. yeah, this will speak volumes. And, that, and that's, it's a great look. Yep. So February 11th, Tuesday night, 10 p.m., ABC. Is 50 in it? Yes, he is. That's all I'm going to say, because you know, yeah. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> That's it. I understand, yeah. 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 Dude, thank you. My man, appreciate you, bro.